even from her harsh and difficult environments, beauty just seems to emerge in Thailand, in sometimes the most unexpected of places. And here in Bangkok, there is an upscale part of the city that just seems to have a panache about it. I mean, even here, just getting a simple cup of coffee at a Starbucks in a shopping mall, it's nestled in a rooftop garden. Um, here in the fancier part of Sukhumvit, which is kind of one of the downtown areas of Bangkok. And what I'm gonna talk about a little bit in this video are some of the nicer, you know, kind of fancier high society things that one can do in a city like Bangkok. Today I'm gonna to take you to an art show. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting the artist. He's been an online friend and a, you know, and a bit of an inspiration for me. He's uh, fundamentally a photographer, but he does a lot of other cool stuff as well, and he's having an art show tonight, so I'm going to take you along to, to go meet Glenn Allison. I'm standing on the busy boulevard of Tong Lor in the neighborhood of the same name, where you will find fancy hotels and many specialty shops and salons catering to the upper class the Japanese and Western tourists and business people and on this lane you will also find many high-end nightclubs where the fashion people of Bangkok go to show off their stuff, showing up in their Ferraris and Lamborghinis, along with, you know, the everyday folks trying to pretend to fit in with them. You know, like nightclub strips almost anywhere. And it's in this neighborhood where I'm off to find Glenn's art studio. It's a neighborhood of expensive condominiums, fancy cafes and restaurants, and where you can wander the back alleys and find really interesting places like this old style Thai structure that's been very nicely renovated to accommodate a seafood restaurant with a Michelin star rating where a valet will happily park your car for you. And it is indeed down one of these back alleyways in Tong Lor that we find Rock the Art Cafe. I can't wait to go in and take a look. Glenn's work is an eclectic mix of photographs, some of which I'm really intrigued with. This. Uh, collection here was done with a uh, with a makeup artist who's just amazing. This is more recent work that Glenn has done in the Philippines, again with some pretty amazing makeup artists, and the help of uh, some artificial intelligence rendering that I don't quite understand, but it certainly is, a, is some, some beautiful work. And so here is the man, an old friend of mine who uh, lives here in Bangkok, who uh, he and I have uh, practiced yoga together. And uh, David is the man who uh, introduced me to Glenn, uh, at least online. It's nice to meet the man actually in person now. And uh, David's easy to find. Just look for the most beautiful woman in the room. <laughs> Hello. Suai. Chuti <laughs> Kun pen kun thai, Mike Lam? <laughs> you speak such beautiful English, it's hard to tell. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to meet you. So all this beautiful work is the, uh, the, the, uh, the, comes from the creativity of this gentleman. And this is uh, Glenn Allison. Glenn Allison. Nice to meet you guys. What's kind of fun about meeting Glenn today is I feel like I know him because I've been following him on, on Facebook and other uh, digital media and paying really close attention to his work because I'm learning photography myself. 
and, uh, and I'm really enjoying it. I feel like he's kind of a mentor. <laughs> so it's good to kind of meet him in person right now. I have a lot of questions to ask him. I have a question. You recently did some stuff that you use AI rendering. Right, right. Uh, can you point out any of that here? The, all the images on this side were created with artificial intelligence. Uh, or AI, and the way uh, it's created is you give the AI engine a text prompt. Like for example, in this case, I wanted to celebrate cultural diversity, so I gave it text prompts to create an image of a person who's half Caucasian white, but the other half has African, uh, black African features. But anyway, this this whole series on this uh, on these these five pieces here were created with AI. Now, if you flip to the other side, you'll see uh, the five images on this wall. The two on the uh, outer sides are real models that were styled and body painted. The one in the middle is AI generated. Uh, so you can see that uh, you know that this AI creation of imagery is opening up entirely new avenues and, you know, in the artistic world for us to play around with and incorporate into our work. Now, one of the things that really got me interested in your work is uh, these two on on the right. Uh, are they the ones that were inspired by the Papua New Guinea? Uh, tribes? Uh, no, not Papua New Guinea, but uh, the Omo Valley uh, tribes are some of the most, you know, beautifully body painted, and it's all natural. They use, uh, uh, you know, ash to make the white paint, and they use ochre and, and uh, copper uh, stones and stuff that they pulverize to paint themselves with. So the, I, I created these in um, uh, Bangkok but using professional models and using a stylus, but using the Omo Valley style. Now, if you swing around and look at these two images here on the back wall, those are AI-created images. Zoom in close to these two, and you'll see what, what part of my text prompts was, I gave an instruction that I wanted body painting like the Omo Valley tribes in, in Ethiopia, and then the AI generator scoured the internet to find out what Omo Valley tribal painting looks like and incorporated into the AI imagery. Now if you swing over and look at these, these are not AI. These are real models, but in this case, I, I was creating kind of a galactic alien uh, <laughs> series, and so I reshaped the face to make it look more alien, I enlarged the eyes, I rotated the eyes, I changed the color of the eyes, but these were real models. And the body painting here was done in Photoshop, digitally, you know, so I didn't have a stylist doing that. This last one on the left is a silver Buddha that I photographed in Burma. And it, again, I triangulated the face, I added the third eye, and I did the tribal body painting in Photoshop to kind of match this series of three. Okay, so th th this is all kind of rendered in Adobe software. Uh, right, in Photoshop, right. It, it, initially in Lightroom, and then I moved it over to Photoshop to do all the layering. Well, that's great stuff. It's, I, I really I appreciate your work. I think I think you're a talented artist. And I, ah, thank you very much. And it's really great to yeah. meet you in person. Yeah, really, and I'm so glad you came tonight as well. Yeah, so we'll have this up on YouTube in about three weeks. Great, okay, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> so signing off from the Rock the Art Cafe, I intend to do more videos like this, showing the fancier, the nicer side of Bangkok. So I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.